In this video, I'm going to be unboxing these Epic EMO noise cancelling slash Bluetooth headphones, and I will be reviewing them. So, as you can see, it's in a white box with the black headphones on the cover. These are noise cancelling headphones with Bluetooth connection and a 3.5 millimeter audio cable connection so when the headphone is dead um, they're compatible with of course your smartphone tablet computer etc has a built-in high definition microphone the headphones fold and like I said they have active noise cancellation they have a Qualcomm 5.0 new wireless technology it says um, hands-free calling, up to 30 hours playing time, not sure what the, all that includes. A USB Type-C charging port, and on the back it shows the specifications. It shows the sensitivity of 95 plus or minus 3 decibels. Um, it has speaker drive, diameter, usage time, battery capacity, and more. So let's open these guys up. This box has great suction like a high quality product. And here we go. Looks like it comes with a carrying case, so that's nice. Keep your headphones safe. This carrying case has a loop for carrying. The case itself is fairly high quality. The handle doesn't seem super high quality, but just be careful with it. It's zippered and it's a hard, it's supposed to be a hard shell case, I think. It says EMO on the front. I think that's how you say it. I'm not sure. Um, so let's unzip this. And here's our goodies. Here is a 3.5 millimeter adapter or connection cable. One end plugs into your phone or laptop and one end connects into your headphones. Here is an instruction manual. Here is the charging cable, USB type A to USB type C. And an airplane adapter, as they called it. I have never used one of these, but it looks like it has two prongs on one end and an input on another end. So let's get to the actual headphones. So you see these headphones are folded up now. And to unfold them, you just take one piece out and take the other out like that. And push them in if they're extended. These headphones look fairly nice they have a cool design on the ear cup piece I think it's metal maybe it's plastic it has um, the, the part that goes on top of your head as well has nice cushioning it might be fake leather um, the sides extend like nice headphones do for people who have bigger heads and then you can just put them back in just by pushing them this headset is flexible so you don't have to worry too much about bending it the ear cups they move around somewhat for flexibility and this is an, these are over ear headphones so that's how they can do the noise cancelling better on the side of the right end for the right ear it has a button for Bluetooth and that turns the headphones on and off Bluetooth wise there is an A and C switch that turns off active noise cancelling and you don't have to be connected to Bluetooth to use active noise cancelling so that's nice there's also a volume 
up and down button and it's also a fast forward and rewind button too. So you can skip songs and increase your volume. There is a play slash pause button and you can also use it for taking calls. And there is a little light that will show up when you connect it to your headphones, to your phone, underneath the volume buttons. And there is your headphone jack. And it looks like that's a microphone over here. And on the other side, there is, looks like a microphone and your USB-C charging port. These headphones fit fairly nicely. They have a little space maybe underneath that could be closed off better, but the ear cups rotate around the, they also extend the sides of the ears. But I might keep mine up how they came. I'll try active noise canceling now. I can hear something like, kind of like white noise, and I can notice a difference in sound. I can hear less of the background noise, but I also hear, I think, like white noise too in the headphones. I'll try turning it off now. And I, yeah, when I turn it off, I can hear a different sounding noise than when you do the noise when it's on. So when you talk with active noise canceling on, it sounds different when it's off. So it doesn't block out my voice or sounds totally completely, but it probably is best for um, blocking out um, low frequency noises. Let's take a look at the instruction manual. That would be a good plan. These headphones are called the V9D. That's their model number. Model name V9D. Its key fi features are, like I said, compatible with Bluetooth devices, foldable design, built in microphone, built in rechargeable battery, active noise canceling. Um, this, these headphones have low latency audio so that when you connect your Bluetooth headphones to your Bluetooth device, when you're watching a movie or something, these headphones are supposed to not lag so that it looks like people are talking faster or slower than the screen is showing them. So that's good. It reduces delay and improves end-to-end -end speed of the audio transmission. It has a diagram of all the controls. It also shows package contents and it tells you how to operate the buttons. For the Bluetooth switch, move up or down to power on slash off the headphone. A and C move up or down to power on slash off A and C function. The backwards button slash volume up button. Press this button to choose the previous song or if you hold it, you increase the volume. Now with the volume down slash skip button. If you press this button, you'll choose the next song. If you hold that button, you'll reduce the volume. It's too bad they have to have volume slash skip button but I mean you don't have an infinite amount of space but maybe next time they could put it put skip on one headset volume on another but that too might confuse people so maybe it is a good um, resolution just to have it on one the play slash pause button and it's also a answering call button press this button shortly for pause slash play under playing state it says and when a call comes in, you'll hear a ringtone, and then you can click that button to answer the call. And when you're done talking, click this button to end the call. If you want to reject the phone call, hold the button to reject it. If you want to call back, you double-click the button. And if you want Siri, you hold it if there's no phone call coming. And for EQ, double-click the 
volume down slash skip button to change the EK, U, EQ mode from pop, treble, jazz, etc. So that's the button operations. To pair the headphones, ensure the headphones are turned off to start. If they are not, please turn off the headphones first before pairing. Then you turn the headphones on, the LED indicator will keep flashing red and blue. This will indicate your phone headphones are now in pairing mode. And when you do that, you should hear it in your headphones too. They talk to you. Um, place the headphone and the Bluetooth device to which you would pair it within the operating distance. We recommend keeping the two devices no further than 10 meters. I've done it from the upstairs floor to the downstairs floor and I was able to go a little ways downstairs before it went started disconnecting so that's pretty good. Ensure Bluetooth is enabled on your phone or music device of course. And then once you have activated Bluetooth on your device, select the headphone V9D from the Bluetooth list and it says please note pairing mode on the headphones will last for 5 minutes. If no devices are paired after 5 minutes, the headphones will turn automatically off. So that's nice so that you don't run down your battery. So it's pretty straightforward. I've noticed when I've connected these headphones to my devices, my phone, my laptop, they connect fairly easily and nicely. So that's very nice. It talks about malfunction and solutions and care and maintenance too. So a lot of information you'll want to read this and I read somewhere that um, it removes about 80 to 90 percent of low frequency. Oh here it is. When there's too much noise in the surroundings switch on the ANC function and your indicator light will turn green. It will reduce 80 to 90 percent of the low frequency noises. It says, let your world is quiet and enjoy high quality music. So this must be from another country because it's not, there's some um, translation errors, but uh, that's all right. It also tells how to keep your battery in good maintenance. In order to prolong battery life, turn off your headphones when not in use, of course. If the headphone is not in use for a long period of time, store it in a dry, safe location. The headphone will need to be charged every two months to maintain battery life. And when you are charging the headphones, you connect the Type-C indicator to a USB-A um, laptop or some other method. And it says, when the white LED light will illuminate while the headphones are charging. And when they are done charging, the LED light will turn off. And it also talks about using your headphones without Bluetooth to do that. You will want to um, connect your 3.5 millimeter cable to your phone and then, of course, connect it to your headphones, obviously. And you won't need to have Bluetooth on, of course, for that. But you probably can still use active noise canceling. That will take battery. But nice thing about having this cable is when your battery is dead, oh well, you'll just have to use this cable. So that's a very nice, so you're not caught on the airplane or some other place without your charging cables and without any way to listen so that's a good feature. I'm going to try listening some some music and see how that works out. I'm going to turn on Bluetooth and it says it's connected now. I'm going to try listening to music with um, noise cancelling and without noise cancelling. I hear this beeping noise in the right ear Oh, it just turned off. Hmm, that is weird. So when I was listening to these, to this classical music, um, with active noise cancelling and without, I can notice that when active noise cancelling was on, um, it had a different sound than with noise cancellation off. And right now I'm not in a very loud environment, just mostly background noise and other humans. But in the past I've noticed that I think with active noise cancellation off, the sound is sometimes 
almost sounds distorted if you've been listening to actor noise cancellation on, so that's something to remember. Also, when you wear these headphones, sometimes your ears get kind of warm for whatever reason, probably because of these cushions and they're surrounded and the air is not escaping too freely. Now we're going to see if we can test the headphones and microphones. They describe them as being HD, so hopefully they really are that great. Let's test it out. So first we're going to compare this audio to camera audio, then the phone audio, then a microphone audio, and then the headphone audio. So starting with camera audio. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. This is tech particle. Now testing with the iPhone. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. This is tech particle. Okay, now with a lapel mic. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. This is tech particle. Now we're going to try it with the actual headphones. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. This is tech particle. And as you see from the results, I'm not so exactly sure that that would be considered high definition audio quality, but could be better than um, some things like a DSLR camera maybe. I'm not sure. It doesn't sound super high quality, but that's not the headphone's main purpose. Otherwise, these headphones are pretty great. These headphones are pretty good headphones. I'd recommend them. They're high quality, budget friendly. You can get these for about $55 on Amazon. And the active noise cancellation might not be as good as I'd hoped, but they're, like I said, 80 to 90% of low frequency noises. And that will probably block out like some airplane noises like from the engines, um, maybe some background noise, some monotonous th noises, just continuous, maybe f sometimes maybe fans, things like that. But not it won't block out human voices completely, but it may reduce them. So those are things to keep in mind if you're just thinking about purchasing these great headphones. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. And if you have any other products you'd like me to review or software, please let me know in the comments below. Please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you so much. So a few weeks ago, I started having issues with the left ch channel, my left channel of the headphones not working. But what do I do? What I do is I just jostle the headphones around and start working. It's pretty weird. Must have been a connection issue. So that that's a little disappointing with these headphones. So luckily I had free returns and I sent these guys back and got a refund and. I looked at the reviews for those headphones again and it was about four and a half star rated product and there was only uh, some people who had issues with these breaking and there was only like one person who had the same problem that I did that I know of and so I decided to get these again because they're pretty good headphones other than that defect and I got these this pair and they seem to be working pretty well and it's nice having them back. I missed when they were gone. But these seem to be working well. I've had them for over a week and they seem to be doing fine. So that's, that's encouraging. Mine must have just been some sort of defect, which that's disappointing, but these headphones are still pretty good and I still would recommend them.